aging face that this world has forgotten. What's up guys? Now, before going into the course of the Wi-Fi battle of the day, I'm just going to tell you guys that I'm actually started a Discord group called The Battle, which clearly is an invitation that I want you guys to join it. It's going to be linked down below. And it's basically it's a way of you to actually, of course, battle me, but also battle other players in, of course, the Pokemon community. The purpose of this channel or Discord group is basically to gather people that want to battle by Smoke and Tears. So feel free to join us and, well, I'll see you guys there. Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with just real course the scavenger and today going against a guy named Caddy Cool who is also of course as I do believe I said is a bit too much the group that I'm having and introduced far too many times now the discord group is a part of that is a great guy in general has been friends with him since start of generation 6 in X and Y uh, he always go very 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 niche which always tend to be very, very exciting battles overall. Uh, now we have an NU-ish battle, that is that he has two Pokemon that aren't NU and they are actually tremendous threats. Uh, we've seen, of course, those being Scavalier and uh, Zelastal. Zelastal is... Ew, it's so tough. Other than that, we have Dust Clubs, um, Kumala, Clawlister and Glade. But overall, you know, a pretty standard team here, good synergy and overall. Uh, I myself is using, if you aren't already seeing it, somewhat of an ice offensive team. Um, ice is definitely not the theme here, but we have offensive threats with both regular Bomber Snow, a Lowland Sassler, which is a sweeper variant for this specific Wi Fi battle. We have a defensive Zeismanto with Self Rock, we have a Scarf Rotom with Trick and stuff like that. Uh, Sweeperish Tauros with um, the promo red, blue, and yellow with Body Slam and Share Force. And then you stand her life or uh, Hitmonchan with rapid spin. So yeah, other than that, you know, this is a tough game. It should be. Cat is a very, very strong person in general. And like I said, strong niche sets, which always throw me off. So really with all this said, let's of course go into the match. So from the get-go here, I will try to get up my rocks with my seismic toad as he's gonna lead off with his Gallade. Now, Gallade here could very well have Leaf Play, but Leaf Play is not a one-hit KO since I am full defensive, so I'm gonna get my rocks up no matter what, as we see Knock Up, and that's okay, because we're still in somewhat of a control here, we don't have necessarily too much damage onto us, though I was fearing kind of Swords Sensor like that, which would be very scary. Uh, he will follow this up with Confused Friend, this is how I know that this, this is something else, this is not your average... Um, <laughs> Gallade here, and all I really can do here is try to bait for a Skull to Burn. It's not a viable strat, but it's the only strat I get against Gallade. But now we see Leftovers, and I'm like, okay, this is... Uh, we, we're not gonna hurt this guy at all. I I really, really can only go for the Burn. Um, as he switches out to Fletcher, which is a cool Lister, and I'm gonna try yet again to try to attack him. Luckily, we do break through, and I get Toxic off. Uh, oh yeah, I actually decided to go for a Toxic instead of a Skull Burn since it was so defensively active there, I didn't like the situation, I'm trying to remember that. But anyway, we get the Clawless through Toxic and that is always helpful, but I don't want to take anything from this guy. And Dark Pulse seems to be the middle ground play here, and luckily we get that one right, as it still does, you know, one third basically. Uh, oh, I'm actually left towards not Life Orb, I lied, I lied. But uh, yeah, we're still fully offensive, speedy with uh, RWE Jolly, max max attack. Um, and I'm predicting him to switch out here and just try to get some momentum here. Definitely felt Dust Clubs can come in. But he actually stays in and goes for the water pulls and that just pops us. I don't think the crits matter, uh, mainly because Rotom is not necessarily that bulky. So he definitely got me off for here. I felt, you know, I, I need to step up my game. And the only way to do so is bringing in the Obama Snow, the Abominable Snowman, and make sure to outspeed everything on his team, or not with Obama Snow necessarily. But uh, we do outspeed him here, and Gator is going to easily KO him. And I felt good here. I really felt good. But I was fearing Slaslitz, the Pokemon, is going to come in after here. And I don't have a switch in here whatsoever. I really just have to sack my Obama Snow. I was hoping it went for Nasa Blood, because I need a fair switch in through my. Um, to my Lowland Sassler, but he actually goes directly for the, for the Nasty Plus, and that's great, because that means that we get the Earthquake off and actually KO the Salasal, who very, very, very well could have swept us. So, um, that's kind of cool. I won't deny it, that's awesome. And the Bomber Snow just knocking it out of the park. Uh, so, Escavalier comes in here, and um, yeah, I don't have anything for this one. Um, I believe I... 
and completely walled out. Basically, show me pursuit. Uh, and it does a lot of damage onto us. I mean, that basically is one more switch in and I'm dead. Uh, and I'm gonna just bring my Zeismetod here and I'm gonna do the Viable Threat. And the Viable Threat is baiting for the Skull Burn. You know, that it's, if you wanna knock it out of the park, that's how you do it. As Dust Clubs comes in. And I felt, you know, this, this could become really, really slow. And I did not wanna get the burn on this one. Because that means that that will never die. Luckily, we don't get it. And I'm going to do everything in my power now to get the Toxic off because I need this thing to free fall in some way or another. I need it, you know, to possibly win me with Pain Splits, but I can't switch out because, as stated, he can heal up against other matchups. The only, the w only way to deal with the Dusk Lobs is actually staying in and hope you can actually wheel it down with you. Uh, it's one of those really, really weird matchups where... This Dust Club is extremely bulky, there are only so many things you can do, and uh, he actually has a curse set here, which was very lucky for me, because that means that he will get a lot of HP onto him, and actually free full straight on at it, so sadly for Caddy, he kind of mispredicted the situation there, and lost the Dust Club a bit, a bit early, and probably a bit too weird on his side, because he definitely could have played the chicken game there, and just stayed in and tried to get some result damage. Now with that said, here's Kamala. And trust me when I say that, this is not your regular Kamala. This is an offensive scarfed Kamala. And I never seen anything like it. And it just pops my hit much. Yeah, now, I would probably have died anyway. But just, it has 115 base attack. That's that's a lot. That's that's probably a bit too much to be completely honest. So, how you like to switch out? I'm bringing in Taurus here. Basically, I'm going to go try to go for the wrap up. And I will go to regular for a body slam just to maximize the damage. And it'll actually prove to do kind of a lot to Escaval here. That's a 25% hit. Then that's a resisted hit by people. As I can follow that up with a fire blast, and that's gonna knock out the Escavalier. Escavalier, I don't know. I, you know. I say it wrong every time. I try. I, I'm I'm dealing with it. As Glade comes in here, we we'll already notice that it is a uh, leftover set, so body slam should do a really, really good amount of damage to it, if not even KO it directly. Which it does, because it's a Tauros, and his last Pokemon is, of course, the Scarf Kumala, and his best move is actually going for Return or Earthquake, trying to wrap up through there, but you guys already see the timer, we got this, we are in the bag, as one say, as it goes for Earthquake, it will actually still do a lot of damage, but we can definitely retail with a Body Slam, and due to the fragileness of Kumala's physical defense with low base HP, it's just gonna get knocked out directly, and that's a wrap up and a GG caddy. So, all right, some afterthoughts. I'm actually stay with me on this, guys, because I do want to throw out a few things after afterthoughts and just a bit of a small update, I guess you'd say. Uh, first, caddy, as I said, GG. I love that you are so varied and so niche on some things. It definitely throw me off. Uh, I definitely believe that Bomber Snow versus this last will play really, really. I mean, that's the sole play. Without that, I would have lost the game. But you lose last that early to a pretty tough prediction um, was definitely unfortunate. Now, with that out of the way, guys, I mentioned this before about the Discord group. I really mean this now. If you want to battle me, make sure to join that group already. Um, we are doing something that I really want to be more of um, statuizing on my channel. And that is the more creative side of Pokemon battling. We have something called Insanity Tier, or the IT. <laughs> on that Discord group, but that means it basically that it's going to be mixed tiers. Basically, we're going to be able to just go nuts, and and that's the primary idea. And uh, we have a theming now, for example, one Uber, one OU, and the rest every any tier. Uh, and we tend not to be too, and I really mean that, would not to be too um, too meta heavy because in the end of the day. I don't believe the meta games are that interesting. While a good wife belly and a competitive one can be interesting uh, in its own right, I do believe we have already a plethora of people are doing that today. Uh, I don't want to be grouped with those people. Um, they're disgusting. No. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that everybody can be, you know, above average in this in this game, and it's definitely always a factor. And while I have League Battles on my on my channel, and I really enjoy that content and that side of the Pokemon community, I really enjoy more, and trust me when I say this, uh, I really enjoy more to be creative, to have fun, to not have 
some kind of pedestal of you know being the winner i don't believe winning a wi-fi battle is necessarily that interesting if the game itself is fun and uh, trust me on this i have a plethora of wi-fi battles where i don't necessarily win but i enjoy the match and i'm pretty sure you guys will too and that's the most important part so be more creative and you know push the boundaries and join that discord group for fuck's sake i really want as many of you guys of course watching my battles to be able to be able to join that and be able to discuss pokemon and just overall level with other peoples and not necessarily be too meta heavy you know like i said why try to be what everybody else really tried to be instead of being original i, I want to be that guy i want to stand out i want to actually enjoy the game for what it is it's my hobby it's not something to gain money out of it's it doesn't matter if i win or lose i'll still go to work tomorrow it's it's my day still looks the same <laughs> this should look the same but if i can get some enjoyment out of it that's where it's at that's that's what i want from this game and i really want you guys who watch this to feel the same way my enjoyment of the game is what i believe is the most important not winning or losing the wi-fi battle i don't care for that i really don't uh, at least not because of wi-fi battles i enjoy this game a lot more now just for wi-fi battle in general and you know nu the king of nu is here i, I really believe i'm getting there i'm <laughs> actually doing really well in the ladder that's unfortunate though actually but, I'll say that. Uh, but yeah guys as i said join the group thank you for watching thank you for staying through that update i know just talking with a uh, stellar stiff image is not necessarily the, the, the most creative work i've done uh but yeah guys of course as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then take care